Hello, my name is Igor Zavyalov, and I would like to present you uh, my Harvard FinTech Online short course Capstone Project. The title is The Road to a United States Digital Dollar. And here's my uh, plan for the presentation. I'd like to introduce CBDC and talk about its advantages and disadvantages. I'd like also to propose a solution uh, what to do for the commercial bank and uh, Eastern Bank as my target organization. So first of all, uh, let's consider what is CBDC. Uh, CBDC is a central bank digital currency. And on this side, you can see uh, the dynamics of digital payments in the whole volume of payments. And since the start of uh, COVID-19 pandemic, people increasingly use online options for their business uh, and uh, these transactions uh, are increasing. On the other hand, the transactions in cash fell in overall volume. And so uh, CBDC is a new trend for central banks to shape a monetary policy and to provide the digital currency for the participants of the market. Uh, there is a high demand for various new digital money such as cryptocurrencies and stable coins. Uh, digital money issued by central bank can solve many problems with trust in such payment methods uh, and make uh, monetary policy more efficient. According to the uh, Federal Reserve System, over 5% of U.S. households remain unbanked. And in this uh, situation, CBDCs uh, can build a bridge for these people into the digital future of finance. Uh, so what niche uh, the CBDC can occupy in the future? From the implementation design, there are two types of CBDC, wholesale and retail. Wholesale CBDC means uh, interbank. Uh, it's available for, uh, for the commercial banks, some financial institutions, but not to the general public. Uh, in case of another type, which is retail CBDC, uh, the central bank money, uh, issued money, available for the general public. In this case, uh, retail CBDC excludes intermediaries. So wholesale digital currency is not very disruptive for commercial banks. But in case of retail CBDC, uh, the central bank can reach the customers directly and it uh, increases risks for the uh, commercial banks. So, but in the global scale, uh, CBDC now is exploring by many countries in the world. Uh, in total, 105 countries, uh, which represent over 95% of global GDP, are exploring a CBDC. Some projects are pilot projects, some are already launched, uh, and some in the development. Uh, Currently, majority of the uh, countries uh, which launched uh, CBDC are emerges, uh, emergent uh, e economies. Okay, here's uh, the scenario planning for possible future and implementation of CBDC. Here I consider it uh, two uh, key uh, driving forces, which are uh, US digital dollar and the uh, like shape of it, like wholesale or retail, and the demand for CBDC or public acceptance. So even though um, international, uh, but sorry, Bank of International Settlements uh, uh, declared do no harm as one of the three foundational principles for CBDC design, uh, the implementation of retail CBDC can represent high risks for commercial banks. And uh, in this scenario planning, I think that uh, the uh, top right scenario is the most uh, dangerous and risky for the commercial banks, and at the same time is quite possible. So this uh, scenario is uh, uh, the scenario when central bank offers CBDC directly to the customers without intermediaries, implementing retail CBDC. And uh, there is a high demand from the customers and the economy.
According to the Inc. report, uh, actually retail CBDC in the United States is quite possible and seriously considered uh, in the current research. Okay, so what are the risks actually related to CBDC? Uh, ongoing research uh, is still questioning if uh, such currencies can create economic instability or enhance other hidden risks. According to JP Morgan strategist Josh Younger, uh, disintermediating uh, commercial banks can lead to a 20% or 30% loss of their funding base. Deploying CBDCs can lead interest rates to a negative area and create serious risks for uh, commercial bank deposits and funding. For a mutual bank such as Eastern Bank, the disruption in the deposits landscape carries significant risks. So the launch of retail CBDC actually means a revolution in the financial system, and it can bring new competition to the market from the big tech companies and non-bank organizations. And it can allow uh, different um, types of their digital wallets, and some of them can be issued by, uh, created by central bank and allow uh, users directly use a central bank money with the central bank wallets. So advantages of CBDC from the central bank point of view uh, can include uh, many opportunities for innovations and payments, higher security standards, faster processing speeds, and uh, it can reduce uh, transactional costs. So uh, it can be very beneficial for cross-border payments and it can improve the financial inclusion in the country. And uh, let's also talk about advantages uh, for commercial banks and fin uh, current financial institutions. Uh, actually, CBDC can significantly improve uh, financial inclusion and thus the customer um, base or clientele of the uh, banks. It can help banks to create new innovative and more cost-efficient products. And overall, it has all the benefits of digital currencies, such as stable coins, uh, and additionally provides central bank guarantee. So, in this uh, um, in this landscape, I would like to propose the following solution for Eastern Bank as a small, comparatively small uh, mutual bank on the east coast, east coast of the United States. Uh, the first step uh, to preparing for the CBDC future is to build uh, an infrastructure where uh, CBDC can be easily integrated. So preparing infrastructure and integrating systems uh, are promising ways to regain ground in payments with um, uh, CBDC. It was actually discussed on the la latest uh, Cybers conference and uh, uh, this uh, inf and inf uh, preparing infrastructure was considered as the uh, good, good point actually to prepare for this future. One possible way to achieve this goal is to implement a decentralized finance ecosystem or DeFi. The realization can take a form of uh, internal secure blockchain with high adaptability for the current bank products and future products, future innovations. This platform can provide fast and secure transactions with uh, smart contracts and other programmable features, such as settlement happening on various conditions. Uh, using uh, an internal blockchain within the bank can reduce time of the transaction settlement and increase security. Currently, Eastern Bank has branches around the Boston area at Massachusetts. The bank can increase the area of service by opening new branches and enhance financial illusion, which is uh, the core advantage of CBDC. Uh, with DeFi infrastructure, business ex expansion can be uh, easier because of its high level of scalability. And let's consider some examples of DeFi. Uh, these examples are provided by uh, Boston Consulting Group Analysis. So, 
DeFi can um, accumulate uh, many products and services into one ecosystem. And here you can see some uh, use cases uh, for successful uh, DeFi implementation. And uh, on the bottom of this slide, you can see the companies uh, which have already implemented this. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, many current use cases for DeFi involve uh, good uh, innovation in the investment area and, and so on. Uh, for example, um, liquidity pools combine several investment funds in one smart contract. And all these can share a single blockchain. DeFi also enables uh, small-scale businesses or individuals to uh, stake transactions or to hedge against risks. And here is an uh, example of the implementation of DeFi. You can see that uh, uh, the benefits of DeFi to investors can include um, potential uh, potentially higher returns, expanded access to financial services because it can actually give them API or technologi technological uh, contact to the system and uh, ability to uh, construct their own solutions using some blocks. So DeFi also facilitates uh, innovative types of cross-chain or crypto-backed coins, including digital tokens and other offerings, uh, whose prices are backed to other financial instruments or commodities. In current implementations, the DeFi business ecosystem consists of multiple layers of activity, each of which has attracted offerings from many companies. So many, uh, some of the layers can be outsourced to the companies. And this is actually very convenient if uh, uh, the commercial bank has uh, limited um, resources to build their own technology. The second step uh, which I would like to propose is to make use of cryptocurrencies such as stablecoins backed by the US dollar. Later, uh, this coin can be easily replaced by CBDC. Stablecoins can be used in smart contracts and and can be integrated into the DeFi architecture. Eastern Bank may even consider issuing its own stablecoins to support its products and enhance innovation in the services. But the regulation of uh, these um, transactions and transactions uh, with stablecoins should be also assessed and considered seriously. But it can be done later. Also, for having um, DeFi with stable coins in circulation, Eastern Bank uh, should create their own digital wallets with high security, such as um, KIC and AML compliance. Using artificial intelligence algorithms on carefully and ethically selected customer data can help to maintain the security of P2P transactions and provide better services and customization. Uh, this is a huge advantage of the bank uh, compared to the central bank, which doesn't know customers so well. Eastern Bank is well known for its multiple social and charity projects as well, uh, and uh, fighting against uh, inequity in society. And so implementing the digital wallets can be done with support for uh, socially responsible investing in mind. Uh, as said uh, Robert Rivers, CEO of Eastern Bank, the right thing to do is also the smart thing to do. Since 1994, the bank implemented $240 million in charity projects. The bank's reputation can be an advantage when the market competition rises with uh, CBDC, uh, which can be available not only for banks, but uh, for big tech companies and other institutions. The loyalty and trust of customers should be carefully preserved and can be advantage of Eastern Bank. Additionally, digital wallets should support daily life activities and uh, this can actually keep customers from going to possibly cheaper alternatives uh, such as central bank wallets. 
so and also existing uh, collaborations with Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and other uh, technological leaders uh, can be uh, can be uh, continued. Uh, can be continued and because it can enhance financial inclusion as well. So uh, in the past, uh, Eastern Bank uh, collaborated with Labs and uh, and showed a st strong competition with uh, other potential um, CBDC players. The central bank cannot do a proper analysis and risk estimation for numerous loans for to CBDC customers, so they probably keep these responsibilities with current financial institutions. So it means that uh, the banks and Eastern Bank in particular should be on the edge of the latest technological achievements in order to provide smooth customer acceptance of CBDC. That's why I'm also uh, uh, proposing uh, collaboration with startups. Okay, and let me come to the conclusion. So, in most advanced economies, as you can see, money exists uh, in a digital form rather than physical cash. Online banking services are growing bigger each year. In this context, implementing CBDCs by central banks looks like the logical evolution of payment technologies. At the same time, it can create a significant disruption to the existing payment infrastructures. However, Eastern Bank can prepare for this uh, future. The current advantages and loyal clientele can be multiplied by the technology. By sharing one vision with the Federal Reserve of a dollar as a global reserve currency and thinking of security, financial inclusion, and convenient banking services, Eastern Bank can get benefits from CBDC. CBDC as a digital currency can be easily integrated into various technological platforms, accelerate innovation in banking products, and improve financial inclusion. If Eastern Bank creates the infrastructure where CBDC can be easily integrated, the transition will be smooth and beneficial. So thank you very much for your attention. This is actually end of my presentation. And here are my references, which I used to prepare for this presentation. Thank you and goodbye.